Welcome back, everyone. Kevin Carpenter, C++ Events. And I'm I'm speaking with one of my favorite speakers who I haven't got to talk to before. Uh, well, I mean, not in an interview. Michelle Faye D'Souza. Michelle and I met at C++ on C, I think it was like three years ago now. Yeah, a while back. <laughs> and so I have to share this story because we're sitting at the table. We, we, were, we were sharing the same table and this particular C++ on C, um, the signature, you know, if you go there, you get the shirt with everybody's speaker's name on the back. And Michelle, being the smart developer that she is, she had another thread, which in this case is a whole nother human being, who wanted to go around with a shirt and get signatures from everyone. And Michelle, you know, as a smart programmer, did the co wait thing and just waited till all the signatures were caught, then asked to hold up the shirt and get a picture with it. So it looked like it was hers. <laughs> Yay! Optimizing life. <laughs> Why not, you know? So uh, Michelle is a software engineer at Bloomberg, um, where she develops C++ code uh, on the order trade entry modification system. That's got to be like a lot of traffic if I, you know, and, yes. and we'll, we'll leave it there. I, I do I do credit card transactions with you. If you've seen interviews before, you know, and, and it is kind of funny, at least for me, when I'm staring at my screens and we're moving traffic around, transactions are just scrolling by so fast, it's almost a blur. Um, she's an active member of the C++ Guild and technical rep with Bloomberg. Um, she has her bachelor's from California, Berkeley, but I... The U.S. we couldn't keep her. She had to move to London. I don't know if that was fair, but you know, we'll <laughs> we'll roll with it. And president of the Computer Science Honor Society. I mean, did you just? Uh, uh, that's a bit too much, honestly. I'm just <laughs> <a fellow. laughs> not the, the things that we do so that we can get into the positions that we have, right? I mean, <laughs> no, I honestly did it for fun. Did not think about it being used anywhere else and i really enjoyed doing what i did then but yeah. yeah no but that's what i mean i so i didn't you know i didn't go to i didn't do a four-year university um i you know i just learned everything it's like i had to pick up a book and learn and it's not that we you know there's plenty of people my age that have done university um it just wasn't for me and but that's where i'm like the things that we do, I mean, even all the volunteering and things I do at, at the conferences has been to, you know, well, I love being with everybody from the conferences, but then, you know, when it look, when you look at the long-term part of your career, anything you can do to help build what you love, I mean, yeah. I think that's a, a beautiful thing. So last year, you did C++ RVO return value optimization at CPBCon for performance, right? Mm -hmm. And your code bases. Um, but this year... You're going to do, oh boy, you know, what's the talk title that you have this year? It's Cash Me Maybe. So it's oh, Cash Me Maybe. It's yes. going to be a very interesting talk, uh, for sure. It's going to be very fun, guaranteed. But yeah, you should be there. You, you love it, for sure. Well, I'll absolutely be there. I mean, fortunately, we're not back to back like we were last year. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So those were really big shoes to fill. Like Kevin was speaking right before me and I was so nervous because Kevin is such a good speaker and your talk was amazing. So and then having I, to go after. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, but let's be clear about the statistics for everyone watching. Um, my talk had like 16,000 views. Michelle's, when I just looked, was sitting at like 34,000 for last year's talk. So but Numbers are numbers. It doesn't matter. Like quality-wise, <laughs> Kevin's was better. So. <laughs> I, you know, I like doing the back to basic kind of stuff because I think I like working with the analogies, but I am really curious. So, so when it comes to caches, okay, so I did hear that, um, you know, you like to throw things when you're yes. in this talk. So like, do, should people Even come outside. with a baseball glove, you know? Um, so this time it's not going to be stress balls. It's going to be something different, but I will be throwing for sure. It'll be fun and it'll be something you'd want to catch. So, okay. If you want to bring a baseball glove, you can. Uh, <laughs> if you want to bring a baseball helmet, that might be better. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's going to have weight. I mean, you know, if you want to throw laptops, I'm sure people will be running up front. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> I wish. We, 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 can, we can make sure to keep, you know, EMTs on the side. So how much time do you spend working, like, in code with caching? Is that like, um, like daily? 
yeah this particular thing is something that can help people daily like i keep this in my mind when i code when i pr review and it's i think good for every single programmer to know about even if they're not that performance oriented per se mm-hmm. like i was kind of ashamed when i didn't know about it and i learned this whole thing i was like oh my god i wish i knew this earlier but this is just not something that was taught to me before so yeah i think people should know what is going to be presented i think it's interesting in c++ because especially when we're starting out there's so much there's so much you can do with the language just oh, yes. you know on its own and when you're doing modern stuff stuff but to your point as you start to understand the the relevancy of the hardware underneath then it makes you think about your code differently right yeah 100% and in a way, like you don't truly know your own code until you know the hardware underneath. So, yeah. I can, fair statement. So do you find that, you know, because speaking of like the talk I gave last year, you know, and, and kind of bouncing both these. So I'm like, you know, when, you, when you're starting out, that's why my talk was almost always vector, right? Mm-hmm. Because as you're starting out, you know, the, that will get you 80% of the way there. And the performance will be, you know, at least 80% of the way because so many people use it. How much custom is, you know, when I think about your, what your talk's going to be about, on one hand, there's the, I will think about my code differently. But then on the other hand, how often are you having to write custom code to really take advantage of caches versus just thinking about the way you're going to use structures differently? How much does that split kind of happen? So it also depends, because like sometimes when people make customized data structures, you get to reuse those things. Like that's what's been done with a lot of third party libraries, but also in the standard itself, hopefully in the future. Uh, But we'll come back to that in the talk. Um, But yeah, so if you want to create a customized thing, you can. If you're at a um, bigger company or someone's already done it, making sure you use those customized things is super important and yeah it just also depends on how much time you have in a way and what you really want to do so your use case would really define how customized you want to get so this weekend when i'm rolling back the server change that we tried to do at 1 a.m and we're (laughs) trying to put a patch in that's probably not the time for me to be working on my cache efficiency no no i don't think so (laughs) what do you think kevin (laughs) come on can we find the one line of code just to make this work? (laughs) (laughs) No, not not then, but there are other cases um, when you're not doing things at 1 a.m. Maybe. uh, Yeah. Yeah. You often. So do you end up having to use a lot of uh, tools in order to measure? I mean, do you find that that's also important in this? Yes. Like observability, if you don't have that, I mean, it's like, there's a quote from, I think, Evan Hansen or one of those plays, like, ah, I can't remember it correctly. And then people watching this are going to hate me if they're theater nerds, but something about if a tree falls down in a forest and there's no one around to hear it. Yes. Does it actually fall down? <laughs> yes. Agreed. But yeah, that's paraphrase, not exact quote, <laughs> but yes. I think so, you have it close enough. So to that point, it's like, <laughs> if you're not measuring it, you don't know if it's really a problem. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you do definitely need to be measuring. So if you want to learn how to measure, well, I don't know about the measuring it, but if you want to know why it's super important and see some code examples and have things thrown at you and probably have a great time at a talk, oh, yeah. I'm super excited. Um, you got to come see Michelle's talk, CPPCon. If you don't have your tickets yet, I have to ask why. You know, <laughs> I mean, we're less than a month out. You want to get these done. So, yes. Michelle, I really appreciate your time with me this evening. Well, afternoon. Oh, yes. well, afternoon for you. Good question. So, yeah, afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you in Denver here in about uh, a little less than four weeks. Yes, will do. I'm excited for it, too. It's going to be super fun. Trust me. I believe you. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Right. See ya. Bye.